Hi everybody, it's Holly with Pilates Louisville and I'm back with another session on the Cadillac. I've got it top loaded today for a quick session using the um, push through bar. Those of you who've watched my other videos know I really love the Cadillac push through bar. It's very versatile. So today I'm going to use it for some shoulder stabilization, also a lot of core work and even some um, adductor, adductor work. So let's get started. I'm going to start out on my back and I've got it with a single spring on the top. All right, so I'm just gonna start out with some bridge work here to kind of warm up my spine. I'm gonna soften my elbows so I can really hug my rib cage down the back and try not to hike my shoulders here, which is one of my tendencies. I've got my feet parallel from my hips, and I'm gonna start out in a neutral spine with my sit bones long, taking a breath to prepare. I'm gonna exhale, I'm gonna pull my navel in. I'm gonna to start to roll through my spine, bringing my tailbone up and articulating to the top, trying to draw my shoulder blades down the back as I raise my hips and fire my glutes, inhaling at the top, and then exhale, I'm going to soften through the breastbone and bringing the spine down in reverse, trying to really lengthen the spine as I come down and being equal across the right and left tips. Inhale again, exhale, blowing my air out and pulling my abdominals in as I rise up bone by bone, reaching to the tops. At the top, I'm gonna to really fire to open up the hips here and do a couple of little glute exercises here. So I'm gonna lower the hips about an inch and exhale, pulling up. So inhale here and then drawing the abs in and firing those glutes again. So it's a nice little work that you can do five to 10 times, just warming up the spine, getting the glutes active and feeling your core muscles deeply engaged. Use your big toes here to really press the feet in. And again, always reminding myself to soften through the shoulders. I'm gonna do it about three more times, pressing up, feeling that stretch. You do about 10 of these and you're gonna really feel those bikini fanny muscles working. At the top, take a breath and then rolling through the spine, drawing down bone by bone. Okay, again, trying to hug those ribs in. So my tendency when I anybody says to hug my ribs in is I think tuck, you know, I just draw down and everything starts to seize up. So I'm really emphasizing pressing my sit bones down here and making my abdominals taut. Not drawing in completely, there ought to be space for the natural curve of the lumbar spine down here, but it's much harder to maintain that tautness than to just totally scoop into my abs. Gonna go into some toe taps now, bringing the right leg up, trying to keep very equal across the hips. As I exhale, I'm gonna bring that femur down, pulling my abdominals in to protect the back at the, as the weight of the leg gets heavier. Exhale, pull the abs in down. So there's this contractions that is, that's occurring in my abs to really draw the leg out with control. Two more times, inhale as I raise the leg up and exhale as I reach it out. Always keeping those shoulders soft down the back. Last one, pressing it down, really fighting for control on my left side here. And then I'm gonna bring the right leg down. Again, anchoring my sit bones in that imaginary Fort Lauderdale Beach sand, which sounds really nice on the first day of spring in Louisville. So inhaling here and then exhale, bringing that left leg out, nice and taut again. Controlling that work, you wanna keep that knee bent throughout. So it's not as if you're just stretching that leg out here. You're working this leg actively, trying to not fire the hip flexors, but instead really being strong through that core. I'll do one more inhale. Inhale, exhale, hollowing into my belly. And now here comes the tricky part. I'm gonna keep that left leg up and I'm gonna bring the right one out without pooching my belly. Ah, that was hard. Good, here we go. And I'm gonna take the right leg up, not as far this time because having both of those legs up there makes it harder on my core. Really feeling this right now. You can notice that I started to straighten those arms, which means I was hiking in my shoulders. So it's a little bit harder to talk and do this and to watch somebody else do it. Exhaling and back up. Exhaling. Here comes the big banana. Both legs are together, pelvis is taut, and I'm gonna reach them both down only a little bit. You can see how hard this is to do them both while maintaining that really strong core. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, working only at my range where I can comfortably do it without arching or tucking. Good, bringing it back up, floating the right leg, 
and then the left leg down. That is hard. Okay, so going back again, trying to keep those shoulders soft. I'm going to just work here now and do some twists. Now, you've probably seen people before where they can kind of move through here. It's a nice little exercise, and you can just kind of massage your body. That's nice, and it feels good on the hips. It's just a little rotation. I'm going to draw it to draw my shoulders gently down, and I'm going to work really deep today. So you're going to see that the longer you practice Pilates, smaller is harder. Those big movements are not so hard. They just look um, fancier to people. I'm going to bring my heels up here, take a breath in to prepare. As I exhale, I'm pulling the navel in, and I'm firing that opposite um, armpit down. So as my knees come to the right, I'm trying to really maintain that connection to the Cadillac. Small movement as I inhale. Exhale, pulling the navel in and just feeling like I'm wringing out a dish rag here. The opposite armpit or the lat area starts to draw down. It's very, very hard, though it looks like the movement is so small you can har hardly tell that I'm working. Coming back, inhale, exhale, deep abdominal. So I'm really trying to twist with integrity, integrity here, really wringing out that spine. Okay, now this time as I come over to the right, I'm going to cross the right leg here, and I'm going to still go with deep intensity, but now I'm starting to really stretch here through the tensor fascia area, opening through the hip, and thinking of that knee as going out of the diagonal to stretch and really open up the side waist. Come back, take a breath. I'm going to do that again, pulling the navel down first, softening through the lats, and then stretching over here. And then I'm going to fire that top leg out and really elongate while drawing the ribs in. It's such a marvelous stretch through the body. Coming back, going to the other side. Right leg comes over. Here I'm going to pull the navel down and start to stretch out at this long diagonal while maintaining that critical lat connection right in here. Coming back, inhale, and then exhale. Drawing it out, feeling that kind of that roll through the sideways and stretching that top leg out, really energizing all the way up. I can tell you this feels amazing, but also really challenging. Whew. All right, time to come off my back, I think. All right, so I'm going to start out now with a long leg position. I'm going to work into some pretty rapid aerobic work, focusing on some teasers here. Now, normally, if I would come into this dead hang teaser position here, I would do it slowly. So I can kind of track my eyes and my toes, pulling the body up long, really feeling that length all the way up here. If you needed some more support, you could put two springs on and then rolling down and trying to lengthen away from the midline of the body. Today, I'm gonna to try to do it at a little bit more rapid pace. I know that I can achieve this. If you don't, you would break it down and do fewer repetitions. I'm still working on a lot of core integrity, but I'm really trying to rev up the aerobic part today. So I'm gonna lift up and roll back down. Trying to keep my head lengthening and bringing it up with the core. So it's not just hip flexors, it's not just shoulders. I'm really trying to energize the whole inside here of the core and use it to bring up both sides of the body. Bringing it up. I'm terrible at counting. I'm gonna guess it's about seven. Five for three more. And you can see how challenging it is for me to open up my shoulders. But I keep working at it. There's always more to do. Last one. Bringing it up. Oh, that really cooked my core. So now I'm just going to take a couple of long stretches here. Breathing in and breathing out because I've got more. You'd think that both legs would be tough. It is. Now we're going to go to single leg work and stretching up. Now, you could either do this from here at a higher level. I think I might go down. So I'm working on a little shoulder stability. And here in my neutral spine, again, I'm going to do some leg circles. So going toward the midline of the body. Exhale as I come around. Exhale. Trying to keep that pelvis really quiet and shoulders gently down the back. Two more. And then reversing it, going out and in. 
I can see that I started to roll that a little bit, kind of make my circle a little bit smaller. I'm trying to stay in my range. And the last one here. Whew. For a transition, I'll draw up with that left leg, really stretching through the spine. I'm going to roll down, so I'm just cresting up over my breastbone here. Elbows soft. And again, I'm going to go inside, out, and down. Exhale. Trying to keep and feel that, trying to draw up too much on that side. So I'm going to come down even further now because on my left side I'm not as strong and I don't want to rock my pelvis just to get that leg around. So I'm going to do last one here and then coming to the external rotation, rooting through that hip socket like I'm trying to trace a circle on the outer wall. And last two, tracking it with the breath, deep core muscles here. And then coming down, quick twist, just to kind of open up through that waistline. Now I'm going to come on to my right side. I'm going to be facing toward the front of the Cadillac. Now if I, were, if I were doing this and weren't facing the camera, I would probably lie down on my arm to kind of keep that head quiet. Here I'm going to prop up just so you can see something other than my University of Louisville Final Four t-shirt here. All right, and I'm going to work to um, keep my body in one long line here. Again, working on some nice shoulder stabilization. I'm just going to start to lift my top leg up and lower. Small movement here, but I'm just trying to wake up my adductor, my inner thigh, and my abductor, my outer hip muscles there. Trying to keep the abdominals drawing in as the leg comes up. All right, bringing that one up, then I'm going to bring the bottom one to meet it and lower. Inhale up, exhale to cover, back to center, bringing it up, really challenges the abdominals here to keep everything in line. One more time, lifting up, and then I'm going to bring them both up. Try not to draw back, but keep lengthening, keeping the body in one long line. Really works your oblique muscles here. Last one coming up, going to hold it there, and I'm going to work some scissors. Good. Drawing the legs long and trying to keep my pelvis pretty still. So you should see very other, very little movement in the rest of my body. If you could do as many of these as feels comfortable, it's really nice. You're stretching through the obliques, opening through the hips. But it's really just preparation for this fancy work into your obliques. So again, make sure you're toward the front so that you have room across the back and you don't roll off. That would not be fun. All right, so now you're going to roll onto your sit bones and then stretch up here and reach over through the legs and come back onto the side. Lengthening up, inhale. Exhale, roll to the sit bones, stretch up. It's like a sideways teaser here. And I'm going to use that arm to come through and help me twist and rotate through the upper body. One more. Onto the sit bones. Abs are firing. Stretching up. I like a little bit of a corkscrew. All right, onto the back. I'm going to give myself just a couple of stretches. And then I'm going to move to the back. Sorry that you have to look at my backside for this whole position, but I want to go through this same sequence. I'm toward the front of the, I mean the back of the Cadillac now, and I'm going to again align my body. I want to just prop up here, trying to draw my obliques in, top leg up and lower. I'm trying to lengthen and not shorten this waistline as I come up. I'm really trying to stretch and working into the deep core muscles here. I'll take two more. And then I'm going to keep that top leg up, bring the bottom one leg to meet it. This is much more challenging for me here, again, because that left side really tends to lag behind my dominant right side. So I have to work to stretch both of them and not shorten waistband. Good. Now both of them are up. I'm lengthening here, trying to balance right onto my sideways. And then I'm going to open into my scissors. And having the bar up slightly like this really challenges my core stability as well as my shoulder stability to stay nice and long, reaching away from the body. Do as many of these as feels good. And then I'm going to roll onto my sit bones. Now you can see how fun this looks. Back to the line, 
Roll onto the sit bones and stretch. And you can reach that hand up to help you give a little bit more leverage. And then drawing down. And then reaching up, up, up. Fantastic. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy. Have a great first day of spring wherever you are in the world. Thanks a lot. See you next time.